Hello folks, welcome to what is the first of hopefully a number of episodes of a Let's Make series. In this series, what I'm going to be doing is using Eat Lean, Eat Fat, and some of my other products and projects to produce games and applications. And so what I'll do is I'll take you on a tour of a, a particular application or tool and show you how to use it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use Eat Lean and after I get done talking in the intro here, I'm going to go ahead and make a application with some basic composer frameworks, or that is interfaces, that will um, load the app loving network and initialize it on an Android device. So let's go ahead and start her up. And we should be prompted here to create a new project. So let's go ahead and call this Moneymaker. And then we'll select the Improved Composer Framework. Click Start. Let's go to the uh, targets first and say we only want to target Android. Now you can target other ones, but I'm limiting myself for the, the purpose of this demo so that I don't have to put in too many different IDs. So let's go back here and let's say choose the devices. And um, these are mostly targeting um, iPhones. Now I should say that while it says that it's targeting the iPhone, what it really means is, is this is the base resolution it's going to target. So I like the iPhone 5 as my, my base, so I'm going to choose that anyways. I am building for an Android device, but what this is telling me is it's going to make it 640 by 1136 in resolution. In fact, I'll show that to you in a minute when we generate the code. Let's go ahead and just uh, generate some basic icons and some launch images to go with that. And let's click on Plugins, App Loving. You'll notice here that there's a little yellow dot with a one in it. And what that's telling us, if we click on it, is that we need to configure this plugin. And to do so, we should go to the advanced settings and then monetization or plugins to configure it. So let's do that. Let's go to advanced settings and monetization. Now we're doing this for Android. So what this is saying is that because we're using the Apple of an SDK, we need a key. Now I've already gotten one from my list of test keys. So I'm just going to paste it in here. Uh, and that's it. If we go back to the plugins page now, we should have a green check mark, which means that it's happy. We've put some data in there. It's ready to generate. So I think that's it. Let's go ahead and generate. It takes just a moment. And let's click on help, open special folders, and generation folder. And what that's doing is, is if you forget where it puts your output, you can just get the help there and do that. But it always generates to a folder on your desktop called eat output. And then in that folder will be a subfolder with the name of your project. So our project was called, uh, let's see, our project was called Moneymaker. And so our folder is Moneymaker. Now let's take a look at the config Lua file. As you can see here, the resolution it's using is 640 by 1136, which is the iPhone 5. And if I had changed that to something else, let's say the iPad Pro, and then I generate again. I'll get a much larger resolution. So in this case, it doesn't really matter because I'm only doing a demo, but I typically generate for the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4 because those are really great resolutions that expand and work well with other target devices. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. We've got a bunch of scene files. We've got a splash screen, play screen, options, home, about. Uh, and we have a script here called Eat Money. Now, if we open up Eat Money, this is a fully generated file that will have different things in it depending on what you select for your project. And in here you're going to find some code that will initialize the ad network or ad networks that you're using. And it may have at the bottom, depending uh, on my progress, I haven't done this for all of the ad networks yet, but AdMob, uh, I believe RevMob, AppLovin, and a few others, I've added helper code. Uh, so what it does here is it creates this code and then later you simply need to require eat money in your project or in the folder that you want to use it in and then call one of these functions and it will do all the other heavy lifting. Now these are pretty straightforward but some of the um, show and load functionality for the other ads is a little bit more involved and so that code would be more involved in this case. And it basically just saves you a few steps. So let's go ahead and grab uh, load and let's go into main Lua and take a look. So in main Lua, it requires the module, eat money. It calls the init function. Now, if we look at this, let's make this full screen so you can see it. 
if we look at the init function, it takes this argument called delay. Now what that's doing is it's saying, wait this long and then do the, the initialization. Now I find it useful to wait just a moment before I initialize an add network. And what that lets me do is display my splash screen or draw my menu or put some content up so that the user has something to look at during that tiny pause when the ad network is doing its request. Because what can happen was with certain ad networks, it will do the initialization and it will look like it's hanging. So you'd much rather have something for the user to look at. So uh, by default, eat lean will generate with a 30 millisecond delay, which is enough time for you to go ahead and draw something on the screen. And then because I want to load right away, let's go ahead and put that in there. And let's do the uh, timer perform with delay. And let's make it uh, one second. And let's put a closure in here. All right. So this isn't the best way to do it, but I just want to demonstrate the basic principle here. So now it's going to initialize 30 milliseconds after it starts. And then it's going to wait one second, and it's going to call the helper to load an ad. Now that, this should probably work most of the time. So we'll just leave that alone. And let me grab all of this code because I want to make one more change, which is I want to go into the scenes file. And I would like to change the home screen, which is the menu, so that every time I go to the home screen, every time I reload that interface, it will display an ad. Now, of course, you wouldn't want to do that in your game. But the principle is, is well, I just want to demonstrate how it works. So let's go ahead and go to the home screen. And let's take a look here. Uh, this is the modified version of the composer library or the uh, the scene setup. So I've split out the will did uh, phases into separate functions. So let's see will show. I want to go into the will show. So every time this will show, I want it to load the module and then I want it to show an ad. Do that, and that, and we're done. At this point, we have generated some code, and it is ready to build. So let's go ahead and build it. Or at least let's load it in the simulator. I won't wait, make you wait and watch. So I've already opened this before. I've done a couple of dry runs on this video. So let's go ahead and open up MoneyMaker. And we've got our little splash indicator there. It's our splash screen. And oh, you know what we did here is uh, this is the um, I use I'm still targeting the iPad Pro. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's go back here. And this is cool. See now I'm going to generate and I've got the live update on the simulator. So as soon as I generate, it gets the update and we're good to go. All right. So this is much better. Splash screen. I can read that. Uh, play button about options. Now if this were running on my device. At this point, it would have already initialized the ad network. And then let's reload that. 1,000 to 1,000, a little bit. I think it's a five second delay. Goes to the screen, boom. At this point, it should be showing me an ad. We're done. All right, um, that's it. Uh, this was kind of a boring video, I think. But I just wanted to show you guys that although I talked for like nine minutes, the real work there was maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. And it produced some highly functional code, ready to go, ready to, for you to put your code in, your, your game, whatever it is you need. So hopefully you guys will think this is cool, and we'll pick up a copy. All right? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.